Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead, version 0 0.4. And we're going to be going into our first official character of the series. The first one was kind of a silly one and died in a fire. So I think this one will hopefully be a bit of a better attempt. I've already allocated all the points and everything, so I'll just walk through it, show you what I did, and then we'll jump into it. So here we have uh, a scientist, a uh, lab technician, actually. So he's a bit on the weak side, but uh, higher on the intelligence and perception side, which will really help with ranged weaponry and uh, skill bonuses. Uh, he is an optimist, so he's always uh, has like a plus 20 morale. Fast reader, gets through books, learns skills faster, and fast learner, learns skills through doing them much faster. Uh, inconspicuous, so when sleeping, hopefully we won't get eaten. And robust, gene robust genetics, sorry about that, uh, because I really want to play with mutations. I haven't had a chance yet, but maybe this character will. As far as the negatives, he is nearsighted, so if he loses the glasses, we are screwed. Heavy sleeper, so noises won't wake him up, but hopefully the inconspicuous will help balance that out. Uh, glass jaw, uh, lightweight and addictive personality, all fairly straightforward. Mood swings, so morale will go either crazy positive or crazy negative at random times. And that really balances out well with Optimist, because it means he should be either incredibly happy or neutral. And then weak stomach. And as I said, he's a lab technician, so it comes with first a uh, little bit of gear. Nothing major, but it's kind of nice. And as for skills, uh, he has two points in computers, mechanics, and cooking. Uh, as far as I know... Uh, oops, I actually set this wrong. Because I was going with more of a science-y, nerd type of build. So, computers, electronics, and cooking. As far as I know, computers and electronics are pretty much completely useless in uh, classic survival mode. Or classic zombie survival, I believe it's called, which is the mode I play in. Uh, computers really only help you get into kind of sewage treatment plants, and those have, like, nothing. In electronics, you can make gadgets, but I don't think any of them have any purpose. So I'm pretty much taking useless skills, but it kind of helps round out the whole idea of who this character is. And cooking will help, and I think you can make chems with it too. Haven't really gotten too much of the crafting yet. So here we have Charles Coleman, the lab technician. And we are ready to embark. Yep, let's go. Here we are, Charles... no. Yes, Charles Coleman. Yes. And we are... pretty damn close to a town. Uh, this is... Okay, so there's a gas station, a military surplus, and a garage right next to each other. That... Excuse me? That could be really lucky for us. Another garage but also a bunch of parks. Um, I don't know, it might be a good idea to try and hit these few stories up, and hopefully it's not too close to the horde. Uh, if it is, we will die, and that'll be a shame. Uh, so I'm tempted to either try those ones or go down to this military surplus store, taking a really long kind of roundabout route and see if we can get into there, perhaps? Uh, let's actually try that to start. I think that might be a slightly safer route. Although, I don't really know what's safe or not in this game, because everything is out to kill you, and you're most certainly <laughs> guaranteed to die, if not in the first day, within a few days. So, nothing in the basement, Nothing really for us here at all. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to just kind of 
book it south, then hook around after a couple of tiles. Um, oh, that's a bit closer to the town than I was hoping. Zombie spotted already. To the northeast. Okay, so here's he's near a house up there. Oh yeah, I did not take nearly as uh, wide of a, a runaround as I was expecting. Hopefully this is... A, yeah, this is perfect. It's a bit jumpy, I don't know why. But it tends to do weird stuff like that when running horizontally. Alright. We could start heading north. I'm not sure if holding down the button uh, makes more noise. I've heard that it does. That like you'll hold down forward and that means you're in run mode. And you make more noise and zombies hear you and kill you. That seems a little silly to me, so but I'm paranoid, so I'm doing button by button now. Okay. No zombies yet. Please be unlocked. Okay. And there's like nothing in here. Damn it. Well, there are some supplies. I was really hoping for a backpack, though. A giant what? Giant wasp. Where? Oh. They have a nest, I think. Paper walls. I'm not sure exactly why they're paper. But, definitely, definitely want to stay away from that. So there goes most of my plan, which was hope for a backpack and try to loot houses. Well, at least we got some water, Oop. there we go, and first aid. And a bit of food, so it wasn't a complete bust, it just wasn't nearly as profitable as I was hoping. Heat packs are a new thing they've introduced. I um, I believe they help with cold temperatures, but I haven't messed with them. So with this nest being here, that pretty much makes all of these buildings here off-limits for us because it will see us and we will die. Hmm. Okay, well, let's actually, before I go... I believe uh, these notes carry on across characters. I'm, I haven't tested it out yet, haven't got a chance. Uh, so I like to mark things that are looted, so if another character happens to spawn here, I'll know, okay, those doors are ransacked, don't need to worry about them. So let's see. Let's see if I can go across the road here and maybe find another outlying house to break into that isn't surrounded by wasps. Oh, this is a tiny town. We might be able to clear it out, but we might also be eaten by zombies while trying to get into this house here. Hmm. Smashing the window might be the better option than trying to get around to the front. Because it's most certainly locked. They always are. And there is a zombie. Oh, there is a horde of zombies. I think we should... Oh, yes, thank you, safe mode. I think we should do it. Um, no weapons. Okay. Glass breaking. Oh, I broke it. Good. Heavy stick. That will be our weapon. It hasn't served us well before, but maybe this time. Glove liner? No. Yeah, there's usually just crap in these places. Houses are... oh, a little cheap lighter, that might be nice. Houses are mostly miss in my book. Cheap lighter... 
Yeah, let's get some cola. Bike helmet. Okay, that'll be nice. That's okay. I don't need to hold it long. I just need to wear it. Uh, and I can drop the rubber gloves. There's an encumber. They're pretty pointless. Uh, Time magazine. Nah, doesn't help us. Uh, cola. Okay. Uh, oh, this is the bathroom, so... Lots. Oop. And I saw a pot, apparently. Oh, this is the kitchen. A pot would be great, but I don't... Now I could kind of carry it. Uh, with a pot, you can uh, boil water. And with that, you pretty much are golden. Uh, as long as you have a way to light something on fire. And, yeah, for now. And a pot and some bottles, you will never die of thirst. You'll be dead by zombies long before you die of thirst. So let's look at one of the flashlights, unload it, drop it, and get our heavy stick. Yes. I don't really care about thread that much. Root beer, let's uh, drink some of our cola and such. E and drop the cans. I don't know who has a door behind the fridge, but... and. A bookcase, also, but whatever. Self-esteem for dummies, that is completely pointless, but what might not be pointless, well, is the bathroom filled with pills, and the basement. Pills are nice because they don't seem to take up any volume or weight. Uh, so I just grab them whenever I find them. I usually don't ever need any of them, but it might be nice. Oh, I know what I can do. We have a flashlight. Okay. Oh, this looks like someone's bunker. They were they were preparing for just this event. Let's see. Plenty of... So that says knife techniques. That might be good. Uh, heat pack. Plenty of medicine and things like that. Let's grab... Hmm. Let's grab a first aid. And... Selling kit, no. That's a weird... Uh, thing going on there with the lighting. I don't know why it's doing that. So, I'm grabbing some of the medicine. And then we'll leave the rest here. If I ever remember... I can come back here. Well, thank you, Otto. But what I want is... Medicine. So what's the next plan of attack? Um, I know there's zombies kind of congregating in this area. They didn't notice when I smashed that window open, which kind of amazes me. They might notice when I get to this one, though. If they're going to notice me, I'm really tempted to just... If I'm going to have to like start picking my way towards the city, I really want to get to the military surplus. That would be... If it actually is supplied, it'd be a godsend. But in the meantime, let's... Try the house above. It's here, it shouldn't be too difficult to get into. Monster spotted. Okay, I don't know if they've seen me yet. Well, it's hostile. I think that means it spotted me, because I think, like, if it didn't, it'd be, like, dormant or something. So, this might not be good. But if I can get to this house, get behind a one-tile window, and lure them towards me, this could be okay. Okay, I cut my torso, but that's okay. I'm gonna wait. Apparently, they did not hear all that. 
And apparently our morale is really... Oh, mood swing. Wow. I didn't realize mood swings were that bad. So my theory on mood swing and optimist was wrong. Oh well. Empty dresser. At least I think it helped a little. Vitamins. Vitamins, I'm not really sure if they're useful or not. I think like taking one every day will help you uh, not get a cold or something, but I have yet to live long enough to really uh, have issues with that. Plenty of sewing materials and batteries here. And lots of food. If only we had a bag. Uh, no bag. Damn it. Okay, I want... Shit, I think they're coming in. Yeah, they're coming in this way. We hit them. We critical them. Uh, we didn't get bit, and we killed it. All right. Uh, a Tech Nine. Wow. Okay. Sure. I don't think it would have ammo. Tech Nine. Yeah. Submachine gun. Yeah. Nice, but not gonna help. Oh shit! The dog saw us. Okay. Hopefully, the dog has issues with windows. No, not as much. Because it is already attacking. Luckily, we're dodging really well. Which is a little surprising. Okay, I'm hoping that a few more come and say hi. D yeah, one at a time, that's perfect. Just perfect. And it died. I'm wondering if we're... We've actually gained a point in melee, and we're getting bashing weapons. This is really good for us. Well, this is the Tech 9, so... Nothing here for us. Nope, still nothing. Thought maybe there might be a zombie up there. Well, there's one there. Okay, so there's a crowd. I don't really want to alert all of them. So I'm going to go back into the house. Oh shit, okay, I alerted all of them. So, not not my best move. But luckily the windows take so long for them to crawl through that they tend to only get one or two hits on me before I kill them. If I was much better at melee and much stronger, I could probably kill them without ever taking damage. <laughs> A nice critical there. I think we're really improving with this. Yeah, okay, beating zombies to death with a stick is really good for your skills. This is kind of a slow, methodical way to go about this, but I think this is kind of how you have to play static. Uh, if you don't, you will be screwed. They don't notice me, apparently. Because I'm standing still. I have that trait. It's hostile, though, so apparently I don't know what hostile means. I'm guessing it just means they will attack you, and not that they are going to attack you. Come on, zombies. There you go. Good zo- oh shit, there's one in there. Okay, this might be a little bad. Just maybe. But we are getting really good at zombie bashing. Wow, okay, we've actually gone from being pretty terrible to actually killing them before they get, or with them only getting one hit. Okay. We might have cleared this little section out. Yeah, alright. We're doing pretty awesome. I will mark this one, because this one has a lot of food. So I could really in just stay in these three houses. Uh, and Oh, that got blown up a bit. Interesting. 
nothing there that's useful. But apparently someone crashed in this building. I have a feeling it could have been one of my past characters. Although it wasn't, because this world is brand new. I was having an issue with uh, the world that had a tutorial in. It had a lot of... No, let's close it. A lot of glitches with how the map uh, was laid out. In in that the like tutorial building in the forest completely uh, cut a city in half. So it didn't show on the map, but actually running through is just a giant forest where all the buildings should have been. Uh, yes, I see the zombie. Thank you. And it looks like we're not getting the window advantage here. Maybe we can get a desk advantage? I don't know if that actually hits with my right leg. Oh, this one's actually putting up a hell of a fight. So I definitely need the window advantage. It's about to break through a window, and it's not sure which one. Yeah, with the windows, I am golden. Without them, I am screwed. Oh, and there's a playground right next to me. Great. Alright. One more note. And I th I'm going to try to cut up these videos a little more. So we're about a little over 20 minutes. So I will stop it here and we'll come back right away.